Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my live planning and my live attacks in our CWO Elite War Tribe Gaming versus the Misfits. But first, I want to remind you guys, if you want to support me in-game, make sure you go into your settings, into more settings, scroll all the way down, and type in Lexnos in the Creator Boost Code, guys, with the Gold Pass coming up for the May 2020 season. Definitely don't forget to support me with the Creator Boost Code if you want to. It really does help me out a lot. But let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Alright guys, so here is the first base we're going to be hitting today in this war against Misfits here. We're going to be coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo on this one. I'm going to be starting off with the Queen Charge over here on the 9 o'clock section. Going to be dropping the Queen right about here with a Baby Dragon to funnel this left side and my BK to walk up here and funnel this side just like that. I'm going to be sending a Super Wall Breaker to Wall Break on this cannon here. And then the Queen's going to go inside here, get the Inferno Tower get these defenses up here she's gonna kill the CC keep walking up toward the town hall where I will have a jump spell here waiting for her to get her all the way into the town hall I'm just gonna keep using freezes wherever they're needed to keep the Queen alive uh, her goal is to make it all the way through here into this section take out all these defenses take out the town hall both sweepers these expos to cut the funnel and then from there we're gonna be doing a Lalo from this bottom side over here Starting off here with the Lalo, the Hound, the Loons, Road Champ, probably going to be used here to get these defenses. I might even bring a Giant just to make sure she stays alive for a long time. Uh, yeah, drop that Giant in front of the Archer Tower. I think that'll be good. Uh, probably Haste early here and Freeze on the Inferno Tower and the Eagle and then Warden Ability at some point while everything's pushing through here. And then another Freeze on the back end here. Uh, the Lalo just needs to push through this portion of the base because on the back side we are going to have a Blimp with a yetis in it that we are going to be dropping right about here it's going to pop over the single target inferno and the yeti might should be able to kill all these defenses here hopefully or at least a good chunk of them and then the loons and the minions should be able to clean up the rest of the base so that's the basic idea of the plan right there i think it should be good i'm going to go ahead cook up one more giant pop a power potion because my minions are baby level i think yeah level six <laughs> and then we're going to give this a try here so let's go ahead and make one giant Oops, don't want to do that. Get rid of a loon. And we're going to boost the army. And we're going to give this a shot. Let's go ahead and try this. Right here. Queen charge Lalo. See if it works. Hopefully it does. As long as queen goes inside the wall break, I'm confident that it should work. I have the jump spell. Three freezes. And we're in. All right, so the order is going to be Queen, Baby Dragon, King Healers. Queen, Baby Dragon, King Healers. Let me go ahead, get this wall break going. Queen's going in. I'm going to go ahead and rage her, see if she can get through this Inferno without me needing to freeze it. Perfect timing. Well, wow. haven't even had to use any freezes yet. Drop the poison there for this witch. Let's go ahead and get an archer over here and an archer down here. Save that giant for later. Um, I think I need that mortar down. Queen should be going back inside now. Yes, she does. I'm going to rage and drop the jump. Got the freeze ready to fight the enemy queen. There she goes. I think I'll just pop her, let her pop her ability. Let's go ahead, pop that, start the flight. Make sure your warden's on air. Early haste, early warden ability. My queen died, she didn't get everything I wanted her to, but that's okay. Pop her, drop all of these. Rage over there, drop that. Couple more minions up top. And the battle blimp going in. 
pop that. Do we have enough time? Ton of cleanup. Let's drop this minion up here. Ton of balloons up. Warden still up. Minions all over the place. 56 seconds. Do we have it, guys? 71%. Yeti might still doing work over here. Warden staying alive, leading the charge. The ton of balloons up. At least 74 balloons. If my math is right, I think that's going to be a triple. Whew! Queen charge Lalo, guys. Feels good. Warden goes down. Not sure what hit him there. Maybe a seeking air mine. He got absolutely destroyed. Dicked in the face right there, but still. A ton of balloons up. Ton of minions. That's going to be a clan class triple with Queen charge Lalo. Nice. Very nice. And Burtis coming in with the gifted subs. Thank you, Burtis. Oh my gosh, I jinxed it. I definitely jinxed it. Come on. Come on, minions. I 100% jinxed it. It's going to be a 99. <laughs> Why do I talk so soon? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I deserve that one. Wow. Oh, that's going to be a 99% time fail. My goodness, I dropped the last minion way too late. Still, the attack was beautiful. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> oh. All right. Everything went to plan. I just dropped the minions too late. The wall break was perfect. King did everything he needed to do. Queen steps up. Rage so she can get that Inferno Tower before the free spell drops. Wow. You gotta love that feeling when you think you have the triple and then you time fail. <laughs> Damn. I'm not even mad. That was pretty funny. Uh, Queen's gonna step up over here. I thought the Mortar might distract her, so I used some Loons and a minion there to get that Mortar and build her hut. So she keeps going this way. She's going to get everything I need her to get, really. I'm going to save that last rage for the Lalo. Freeze the queen. She gets her down, and then I start the Lalo over here. Pop her ability for the town hall. Maybe I should have raged her again. She, that probably would have helped out with time, actually. If I had raged her again, she would have gotten all these buildings in here. Warden ability there because of the scatter shot and the eagle. Road champ gets all this stuff over here. Yeah, I don't think I really needed that rage for the law, though. I should have used it on the queen. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mistake there. Queen would have gotten that expo, which means the Road Champ would have stayed alive. Yeah, I definitely should have dropped that last rage on the Queen. And this would have been a triple all day. That's right, though. 99% time fill with like a million balloons still alive. The attack was still really good. Even though it's a fail, I still think it was a good attack. We still got one more attack to do, though. Alright guys, so here is the second base we're going to be hitting today in this war against the Misfits. We're going to be coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo this time. Time filled with the Queen, I mean, Queen Charge Hybrid this time. Time filled with the Queen Charge Lalo, but we're going to use a Hybrid this time. Uh, there is a Triple Ice Golem in this CC. We're going to be starting off with an early Blimp right here with two Loons in front. No Rage Spell needed, but we just want the Blimp to get that Inferno Tower and these two defenses down. Early Minion to grab some of these just for pathing, and then the Queen's going to walk this way. She'll kill the triple ice golem. We're going to use a P.E.K.K.A. to make the funnel here with a couple of loons because there are a bunch of Teslas over here. We need Queen to go inside the base here to get the Town Hall. As soon as I see that she's done that, I'm going to drop my King over on the top left side. He's going to walk this way and make a bit of a funnel. And then we're just going to hybrid straight into the rest of the base just like that. Everything coming through through there. Uh, I'm going to drop the Road Champ in behind just to help take out that enemy Road Champ as quickly as possible. I am not going to take a poison on this attack, guys. I'm going to take three Rages, three Heals, and a Freeze. Uh, no poison needed. I'm just going to use a Wizard to help the Queen kill the Ice Golems a little bit faster. 
Probably gonna freeze the back end scatter shot at some point. I'm gonna heal super early uh, because I have three heals to use. So I'm probably gonna heal right away here and then use the warden ability, then heal again on the back side or the middle, and then heal the last time on the back side, just like that. Three rages to keep the queen alive. Hopefully, she'll be able to do a lot of damage over here, get all this stuff back here and stay alive. And then I'm gonna make sure I bring an archer over here for the six o'clock hut just to make sure I don't time fail. That's the plan. Hopefully, it works out. So there we go, that's the idea. I think we got the army all cooked up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the army here. Five healers, one P.E.K.K.A., four loons, two wizards, a minion, uh, a hybrid with 14 miners, 14 hogs, three heals, three rages, and a free spell on this one. So there's the army comp. Let's see if it's gonna work out. Let's go ahead and give this a shot, see if I can get the 199% this war, or if I'm gonna double fail, that would suck. Anyway, let's do it, and we're in. Whew. Here we go. Gonna skip over the archer for now. Start with the two loons, and that, then use the minion. Pop that, use the wizard there, drop the queen. Drop these guys. Now with the wizard, you wait until that first ice golem is going to pop, then you drop the wizard. So that way the wizard can do some damage to the second and third ice golem while the queen is frozen. Drop the P.E.K.K.A. He's going to start working on this Tesla. And we're going to get those two loons going. Perfect timing. Pull the Seeking Air Mine as well. Queen's gonna step up, so I'm gonna rage her. Do I have to use the freeze? Don't think I need to. Go ahead and start with the king. Pop the queen. Rage her up again. Okay, king's not walking the way I thought he would. That's okay. Get the early heal going that I was talking about. Queen's still looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze this stuff early. Pop the warn ability. Don't die on me, queen, please. No, damn it, wasted that. At least we got the healer swap. I'm gonna heal up again. Drop the archer down south. Kind of sad that I wasted that rage. Let's see if the Roa Champ and the Miners can get through the rest of it though. Looks like everything died and the Roa Champ got locked on too. No! Damn, I need the Roa Champ alive. That's going to be a fail. Huh. If Queen stays alive, then it would have been a triple. Well, hold up. We still got healers, right? I don't think we have enough time though. No, we needed Queen to stay alive. That is unfortunate. Just an unlucky war for me, I guess. Big oof. Big oof. I need another freeze on the back end. If Roa Champ stays alive, that's a whole different story. Why does the single target Inferno always have to pick her? Damn. Big rip. How much? We're gonna get 85% there. Yeah, uh, probably didn't need that third rage. Should have just taken an extra two freezes or something, and it would have worked out. But damn, that's gonna be a fail there. But let's go ahead and take a look at the stats for this war. Tribe Gaming 16 for 43, and the Misfits are 2 for 44. So definitely gonna be a victory for Tribe Gaming here. 
Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for this episode of my live planning and my live attacks. Unfortunate there that I went 0-2. The first one, Queen Charge Lala, was just a time fail though. Basically it was wrecked. The plan was solid. I just needed to drop the minions a little bit sooner, but here's the end of the war. We did get the victory 68-52 to in this one. So GG's over to the guys in the Misfits, you know. Uh, it was a rough war for them. I've seen them do a lot better than this, but you know what? Everybody has a bad war. It's alright. They'll come back next week. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like it, make sure you let me know down below. Uh, use creator code LEXNOS if you want to support me in-game, guys. It really does help out a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.